you know, we, we can we can point out certain connections. I mean, one, for example, is Larry Silverstein that everyone says, you know, oh, well, he clearly knew what, what was going to happen because of the financial dealings and the 99-year lease and all of that stuff. But all I can say to that is he might have known. Yeah. I, I don't... It's you know, interesting. But yeah. It's interesting. Uh, I, su I suspect he probably did know something. Doesn't tell us you know, what happened, though. But it doesn't tell us what happened. It doesn't tell us... You know who he knew. Do you think he's going to tell us? You know, do you think he's going to tell us what he knew and who told him? <laughs> yeah. Know? Okay. Uh, sit down with Larry. All right. If if right. He, if they make a video and Larry Silverstein sits there, uh, sits there and says, "All right, we're off the record. Uh, this is a hundred percent. This is Larry one one on one. I'll give you the real scoop. You know it's going to be bullshit. Just to let everybody know, you know it's going to be crap that he said. And th 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 pretty much. And I mean, unless I saw a video of Larry Silverstein, you know, being interviewed, <laughs> and he said, "Look." What happened was uh, some guys in the military industrial complex, you know, they, they, they've they actually been developing this weapon system. I don't know who owns it, but uh, I can tell you that Science Applications International Corporation, they <laughs> yeah. know about it. If Larry Silverstein said that, then I'd, then I'd yeah. be fairly confident that he was starting to tell the truth. Well, we got to think you know. then, what does he want from us at that point? Where well, at that point, yeah. Yeah, I would, yeah, wow, absolutely. Wow. Because, what does he want that he's saying that? It, what does he want? Because we he's already established his record, at least as far as we can tell, as being untrustworthy. A couple different you know. records, right? Hasn't he, yeah. hasn't he changed the story a bit, you know? The, the firefighter yeah, pull thing. Bit. That's another famous yes. thing, the firefighter yes. pull thing. Correct. While architects and engineers blast that everywhere, you know, they love to... Oh, yeah. You think they'd oh, be yeah. smarter than that. So, But anyways, yeah. Yeah. Uh, one last thing about Richard Gages. Uh, I, I read mm -hmm. to you guys, and you guys could see it on the internet on his AMA. He definitely said in a bunch of places he wanted to be able to answer as many people's questions as possible because uh, he only had a certain amount of time. Uh, he did take the time to answer somebody's question. I'll read it right here. It was Emma Williams XXX, and what she wrote is, I do not have a question, but thank you so much for doing this you really are a hero richard gage replied hey emma williams xxx are you single smiley face so people this is what he takes time yeah yeah it was two seconds yeah you can't be serious all the time but still this is what this is an important thing people i would never ever and i don't think dr wood ever or you would ever or morgan reynolds or you, jesse ventura or anybody that has any credibility with this would ever say something like that you're you have to present mm. present yourself professionally and he just asked even if it was a like Oh, weird, eh? Mm -hmm. It is. I mean, it's slightly creepy when you see that Cre sort of response creepy, in, that, yeah. Yeah. In, in, that, in that context. Yeah. You know, uh, what drives the guy, you know? And, uh, of course, there are whole other areas of research which can be suggestive of, uh, shall we say, certain, um, uh, you know, commonalities between these groups of people which are extremely unsavory, to say the least, um, and so, uh, you know, perhaps, perhaps we just leave that one at that. Yeah. So, okay, um, we're almost wrapping up here. Uh, okay. Um, I'm just going to just want to go over to the importance of knowing data uh, before you talk and knowing it well mm -hmm. and being able to produce it. Because, uh, yeah, you're going to get in those talks where people are going to see you somewhere else and you have nothing on you. Um, uh, for me, I would just recommend that people, if you can't talk about it, just ask them more questions, get engaged that way, rather than trying to say, you know, don't say, oh, it was a 125 story building. I'm almost sure it was about uh, 700,000 tons. You know, don't don't muddle the information like you've said many times. Your, your thoughts on Correct. that? Correct. I mean, yeah, absolutely. And there's a couple of things that people can do. Uh, I have some little booklets that I, I uh, send out. And it's just called 9-11, What Happened? And it's like a little A5 booklet. It's literally five, you call them letter-sized sheets, but stapled into a booklet. And um, they've just got a summary of the main points of evidence, the main questions, really, which you can put in front of people. And I've been giving these out for years, sending them out for years and years. Um, that You can download this as a, as a little PDF file. Now, of course, if you've got things like a smartphone with a large screen, you could put on there a little PowerPoint file and put a PowerPoint viewer on your smartphone, even put some video clips on there, you know, and you can carry this around in your pocket, you know, because these have got multi-gigabyte storage yeah. now, you know, yeah. you've got, got an iPad, stick it on your iPad, and you can carry it with you. So if you do want to engage with people, you know, uh, then, and you actually do get somebody who's, who's is genuinely curious and isn't sort of 100% locked into the program, so to speak. Yep. Yeah, you never know. You might you might sort of make them, you know, start to open up uh, to their own 
journey if they want to discover it. So, so yeah, iPads, smartphones, anybody that's listening to this that wants those files, I'll direct them to them. Yeah. You know, you, you can you can you can edit them if you wish. Uh, you know, to maybe d delete some slides or add some slides, or I can give you some guidance on that. Um, I, mean, I know other people that have done this. You know, I've sent them PDF files and things like this. So that's one thing you could do um you know get some leaflets printed as you say that can be a bit more expensive but uh well, yeah even now you don't even need to talk to the person do you have uh airplay on your phones now especially with the new I ipad 6 where you can go into a hot zone see everyone sure. else just drop mm -hmm. that file off if anyone wants to accept it if if you're at the mall or something they could say hey this file here about uh, dr wood's work or something like that they could accept it uh you don't have to make a username post on a message board keep posting you could do stuff where we're in the age of technology well with what mm -hmm. technology we have but you could like i said airplay it people can just uh, just drop it in, in near everyone near you on your air play and people can access it so um yeah yeah another yeah. thing to kind of tying to that is some people just refuse to critically think about it they just go over i mentioned to you the other day about the guy talking about the meteorite how he just kept going on and on and he wanted me mm. to provide uh, evidence about this meteorite when he talked to me that <laughs> we won't even go into it but uh but anyways uh some people just you can't help them and well, i'm not you, i'm not trying no. to help them i'm trying to get them to critically think so that i don't have to think for them you know so um don't be drawn into fights uh with people right. just know when to throw in the towel what do you have to say about that yeah absolutely and if you feel too much resistance i mean it's, this is something of a personal thing as well because absolutely. you know it depends on your own character and what drives you you know i'm i'm pretty much a sort of uh, a fairly generally sort of fairly quiet sort of person i don't like to offend people i don't like to be confrontational I, I tend to mind my own business a lot so if i'm trying to present something to people and there's resistance then i'll I, you know i generally just don't proceed with it I'll, I'll, I'll try you know up to a certain point but then you know if you're just going to create confrontation then they're not going to listen to you and you're just probably going to make it worse for yourself later so you could you could try and see you know, if you think, try and assess the situation as it's developing and see if you think there might be an opening another day if you've caught somebody at a bad time or, or what have you, you know. Don't bombard but, um, them. Don't bombard, don't bombard the people, bombard. yeah, yeah. No, I mean, so, you know, again, so if you know somebody's really intelligent, they're very knowledge-oriented, maybe they'll react better. But, uh, you know, I mean, it, I had this thing the other night where it, it wasn't specifically 9-11 related, but I'd read their web page as somebody I'd not spoken to before, and they were they were talking about something uh, the, the scientific bit of uh, sort of research they'd done, and I wrote to them with some additional information which I thought probably they would find useful, and I just got this really rude message back from them, you know, <laughs> saying, "Oh, you don't know what you're talking about," and well, clearly I do know what I'm talking about. Uh, so I, I just you know occasionally you get these sort of very adverse reactions, so be ready for that for this kind of absolutely uh adverse reaction and uh you know and the people uh that that half ask the information like there was a few people on on this ama and you've probably experienced it before where people will just kind of they'll beat around the bush they'll say oh what do you think about dr wood's hypothesis or dr wood's theory or something and i have a i have reason to believe that some of those people actually know all about it and they're supporters but they don't want to like have their name associated i had one moderator after that ama reply to me and uh, yes. and he was kind of just saying wow i got he said thank you for asking the questions um you had more courage than me uh, i was i wasn't I, I couldn't do it and he's like I'm already getting flack for just mentioning her once you know um to those people, I just have to say, I have to be kind of blunt. Don't be cowards. Uh, being cowardly mm. is not going to get you anywhere. Um, you, If you have the information, it's your duty to share it to everybody. Uh, if, if you be a coward, then how how do you expect things to change if you're just hiding from it, yes. if you're not willing to talk about it? Um, how do you live like that? You know, it, say, say you're going to have to say something will really change with your life after. It, I don't want to say it doesn't matter that this will affect your life, but there's bigger things than you. I'm sorry to say that there's bigger things than me, Mike mm. Scudder, you know, there's bigger things than Andrew Johnson. And, um, Absolutely. and we, I know a lot of people have their families they are comfortable with they, Yeah. They got to protect the kids or whatever, but it comes to a point where you guys are going to have to fight now this way, or who knows in the future, you might have to like fight another way, not saying that there's going to be any type of revolution or something, but you, it's, it's a lot easier. It's going to be a lot easier now. And it's not even easy now, but don't be a coward. People, please if, if you if you want to talk about the information get it right and address it don't beat around the bush because you're going to get half-ass answers if you give half-ass questions
I think I think that works in two ways as well because you can be courageous in approaching other people and dealing but I think you have to have an internal courage as well mm -hmm. because when you realize what's actually happened and what's at stake it is kind of fairly massive and it can take several months to actually come to terms with it internally and then what you how you decide to proceed from that point is 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 you know is up to you basically I don't think anybody can help you make that uh, sort of uh, journey. And, I, you know, there's a chap that I got in touch with uh, over the last sort of year, and he's been having a, you know, we've we've talked quite a lot, and I've got to know him a bit now. And he's he's um, kind of more, I don't know, I can't, he's just, he's just I, I suppose he's probably more courageous in, in approaching people than I am. And uh, he's been having a hard time sort of dealing with the reactions that he's getting of apathy and, you know, and this sort of thing. It's draining. So be ready. It is draining. Be ready for complete apathy. You know, when you you may feel very deeply that this, you cannot be apathetic about this. But unfortunately, you know, and I mean, like just going back to Richard Gage for a minute, mm -hmm. I would like to be able to stop him doing what he's doing. Yes. You know, yes. Uh, and I think you you would too. Mm -hmm. But we can't do anything. You know, no. because we're we're not we're not hateful people. We don't hate people. We don't no. go around. You know, say rah rah rah. You know, let's nope. put this person down or whatever. Yeah. You know, and this sort of thing. We're not like that. With this, the people that get into this, we're peaceful people. You know, and we're not. You know, I like what John Lear says. If you, you know, he says he says um, he says love your family, and if you can live your life without en uh, envy, hate, or greed, you know, then then you know you still might get somewhere, kind of thing. You know, and I I very much sympathy. You know, that's my very much my kind of attitude. If you can get rid of the envy, hate, and greed, uh, then then. But you know, Richard Gage is going to carry on doing what he's doing. He's been doing it for seven years. He's not going to stop doing it. It's, it's ramping it's clear up that now. He, it's getting it's getting yeah, larger absolutely. now. Absolutely. TV ads are I, coming I out. They got the spot on TV. It's, yep. it's whenever something right. happens and gets in gear like this, you know that something is coming of it. You know, you know that it's being pushed in that that direction for a reason. We we could expect a lot to hear a lot from architects and nine eleven engineers simply because people are know the original story is bullshit and they're we're on a new war now, right? We're on the war with ISIS. So the I'm old war it's all right to examine the old war it yeah yes all right so andrew uh that's enough of your time today i'm sure i'll i'm sure i'll take up some more hours in the future from you if you're willing to come back um sure yeah no problem yeah thank you, you for really everything eh? thank you for so much no, for talking no to us uh there's only so much we could accomplish um any closing thoughts about anything yes well i think that's a good closing thought there's only so much we can accomplish you know and and i've tried to you know, for example, keep an even keep on an even keel, despite what I know, and despite feeling helpless sometimes. I've I've tried to keep the rest of my life around me quite normal, not only because that makes my life easier, which in some ways might sound like a bit of a cop out, you know, but at least it's given me a stable basis from which to continue. So don't don't try not to ruin your own life over this if oh, you yeah. do get caught up in it, yep. because. You're only going to make it harder for yourself mm -hmm. to do what to, whatever it is you want to do, mm -hmm. you know, and um, you know. So, so, so that I suppose is is what I would say. And yeah. just keep, if you have doubts, you know, I mean, you, if you, for example, have a doubts about anything that I've said, anything's not clear, or you want <laughs> to ask me, even ask me personal questions, then write to me. You know, I encourage people to interact with me and try and resolve any any kind of um, misgivings they might have about what I've said or what I've put on my website, and uh, any any sort of things they don't understand. Um, you know, I, I do work as a tutor for the Open University still, so my job for the, for the students is to help them understand things better. So I like to think I can transfer that into this area too. Yep. And um, just another closing thought too. Uh, like I said, you do this all for next to no no cost. You know, I believe you said you had a donation thing, but just to simply help, you know, get books out. Like if I had money, like yeah. you're saying, if I had a million dollars, wow, I would just, uh, you know, Dr. Wood's book, I would I would get a lot of them. I would put them out to every library. I'd put them out to everybody in any type of important academic field, you know. But again, uh, Andrew's doing what he can, uh, mostly on his own time. So we, we have to thank him for that, you know. Uh, um, I, I don't want to say whether the information be true or not, because that's not the case, you know. It's 
it's uh, Andrew doesn't go much into speculation, especially with the 9-11 stuff, you know, it, it's it's not healthy for anyone to do that, and he recognizes that, and he's not going to do that, so uh, we just want to thank uh, Andrew Johnson again for coming on the podcast, and uh, we'll hopefully see you again, Andrew. Thank you, thank you, Mike, and you take Have care. Have a great day. And you.